One of the things we have in Teams is two different types of views of our Teams. The first one is this one, which is Grid View. And you can see I have all my Teams there in a grid. And that's great, but if you're in a lot of Teams, that's going to be a lot of scrolling. So we can change that to a List View, and I'll show you where. Over here at the top, we've got More Options. Okay, click on More Options, and go to Switch View. Switch View. And underneath layout, we go to list, list view. That changes if I just close this box now and have a look. On the left hand side, I now have all my teams that I can scroll up and down and I can just jump between any team that I need to much easier. If you don't prefer this one and you want to go back to the grid view, then you just go to the bottom again. Here it is here, more options, click, switch view, and underneath layout, back to grid. And then you'll be back where you started. If you're involved in a lot of stuff in Teams, like a lot of Teams, and you're um, very busy, you're going to want to know what this button does, the Activity Feed. So let's click on that. If I click on Activity Feed, it does just what it says on the tin. It says Feed. Not, yeah, Feed. And it shows you all the stuff that's currently happening in the world of your teams and everything that's going on. Every time something happens, okay, and you are in that team, it shows up there. So this is the live activity feed. This shows you everything that's going on in all the teams that you're a part of. Now, you can choose the feed, which is what we're looking at now, or you can look at your own activity to see like, okay, what if, what's all the stuff I've been doing? And then you can see, ah, here's everything. I've been very, very busy very busy and you can see there all the stuff I've been doing I can see there okay great so back to feed and this is where the power of the filter comes in so over here next to feed I've got a little filter button okay and you can see control shift F will give you a keyboard shortcut there so I click on the filter and I can do one of two things I can type in something all right um, like I can type in a word and wherever that word appears Anywhere in any team or channel that I'm a part of I can then find it very very quickly So that's a really nice way of finding something or I can also do a filter click on my little three dots Remember three dots always means more options click on my three dots and look here I can choose anything that I have not read yet Anywhere where someone has mentioned me and we'll get onto that um, in the next video uh, replies reactions, missed calls. So if I want to see like how many missed calls have I had? Let's see, do I have any missed? Oh, <laughs> I got a couple of missed calls. Who's calling me? Why are you calling me? And I've got all these missed calls from people and students and parents and who knows. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you can see that is a filter. Let me take that away. Go back to my three dots. What else? I can do voicemails. If anyone's left me voicemails, let's have a look. Oh, there's a voicemail from Mr. Kruger. I should probably listen to that sometime. And what else do we have? Uh, apps, trending, reactions, replies, any replies to any of my messages, there they are there. Absolutely fantastic. So that is the activity feed where you can search for something or you can just do a general search for these various types of responses. So everyone is in a team or a channel somewhere in our organization. And it's actually very easy to get hold of someone without even emailing them or phoning them. We can just tag them using a mention symbol, which is the at symbol. So for example, here I am in the staff ICT development team. I'm in the Teams channel and I would like to get Justin Harper's attention because he and I are very involved in the development of uh, Teams. So I would start by typing the at symbol and then typing his name. And as I start typing his name, you'll notice that a whole lot of suggestions start popping up and it eventually filters down to him. There he is over there. I just click on his name and there I now have his name and you can see it's blue. It's actually like a little link. And I will then type something. What do you think about blah, 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 blah. And there we go. That's my best Greek right there. And then he will receive a pop-up on his screen. A little notification will pop up on his screen saying, Matthew has mentioned you, or you have been mentioned, or something like that. And it pops up on his screen. It gets his attention because I've used the ad symbol. He will not be able to avoid this. I have mentioned him. Okay, you have been mentioned.
Sometimes you find yourself using a particular team or a particular channel quite regularly. So instead of having to go to that team and go to that channel every single time, did you know you could just pin that channel at the top of your list and you can go there right away? You did know that, didn't you? Of course you did. So let me show you. For example, I've got the Staff ICT development team. It's my favorite team, guys. And I've got a Teams channel. So let's say I want to always have access to this Teams channel very quickly. I can just pin this now to my Teams feed. Watch this. I'm gonna go to my Teams channel. There it is there. Go to my three dots. Three dots, always good. And then I'm going to go to pin. There it is there. It's even got a picture of a pin. And I'm gonna click on pin and watch what it does. Boom, there it is there. I've now pinned that channel to the top there and it will always stay there. No matter what I do, no matter where I am. Okay, have a look. Voila, you see, it's still there. And that's the easy thing about pinning a channel. So here's the OneNote channel. Okay, OneNote, oh, sorry, I'm just closing my other teams here. Go to OneNote and more options pin there it is there if you want to unpin that obviously just go back up to where you've pinned it and click on your more options and just say unpin voila there's also a nice thing about being notified channel notifications watch this although I've pinned this I can click on my three dots and I can go channel notifications and every time something happens I can say all activity posts replies mentions make sure that I'm notified about this so I am aware of what's going on in this channel at all times so what I will click on that done so the next time things happen in the team's channel I will automatically get a pop-up on my screen and an email telling me that something's going on there like we saw with the pinning of channels, we can also pin chats. And you'll see in my setup, I have got a few of the groups and people that I chat with a lot, okay? And I always want to have access to these people very quickly. So I pin them at the top and it works the same way as we did it with the channels. So if you've got someone, for example, um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh dear, uh, okay. Theodora, there we go, okay, cool, there we go, you can see we have a nice big chat there, and all I do is click on the more options, and I say pin, and what that will do is that will pin it at the top here, underneath pinned, and there you go, pinning a chat, just like pinning a channel, same thing, and click over there, and I can unpin if I want to, and yeah, that's pretty easy, I think. I think this is definitely one of my favorite features, and that's the pop-out chats. We can pop out chats now. Why would we want to do that? Well, let me show you. If we have a look here, I'm in my chat group here, or chat area, sorry, and there is, I chat to Justin a lot. We're like good buds, sometimes. And I go and I see, look over here by his name, there is a little pop-out chat icon, okay? You can do two things. You can either double-click, just double-click on the actual chat, and kaboom! The chat window pops out here it is I have a completely separate chat window I can move this and put that anywhere I want okay or you can just click on the little pop out chat icon it's the same thing all right and what's nice about that is that you can now continue your chat with your colleague while being in other teams and doing other things in teams as well as chatting at the same time very very handy all right try that out it's very very handy like I said it's very handy Here's another cool thing about working with teams. And in any team or any channel, there's gonna be a lot of posts. Sometimes you'll have a post where you're like, hmm, I need to remember that, or I need to pin this or bookmark this somehow or save it that I can find it again sometime because I need to have access to this information. Here's an example. Here in my uh, Saheti High School staff general channel, here is a very important bit of information. And let's say I want to like, save this so I can always go back to it. It's actually the coolest thing. You go to the post, to the message, you click on the message, so you're there. There's your three dots, as usual. Click on more options, and there, there's a little bookmark icon that says save this message. So I click on save this message, all right, done. Now, when I want to go back, if I've saved other messages as well, so let's say, for example, um, here's one here. Let's save another one, just for example. There we go, great. So if I want to go back and find all my saved ones, I click on my little picture at the top there, and I choose saved. 
there they are saved and saved will then show me here are all the things that I have saved all the messages that I have saved voila super easy You can actually post to a team channel uh, without even going into the team itself. You can actually send an email to any channel that you like, that you have access to. I'll show you. Here we have a class demo team, just for demonstration purposes. And here is my general channel. I'm going to click on the three dots over there. And you'll notice that I can have a get email address option or a link to the channel. The link to the channel is simply, I can copy and paste the link and send it to other people. They click on it and they can have access, they can see the channel if they've got access to it. Here is get email address. Every channel in Teams has its own unique email address. All right, you'll never remember them. Trust me, watch. Get email address, click get email address. There it is. Oh my goodness, there it is there. C5, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's the email address for that specific channel. So I'm gonna make a copy of that and watch what happens. I'm gonna open up my, my uh, there, browser there. Okay, great. And I'm just gonna say, test message. Hi there, everyone in the team. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm sending an email to that team, to that channel. Okay, so I'm gonna click on send. It's then going to do a send and receive, I hope. And there it is. There we have the message. There's my email address. That was the subject line, test message. There's the message. And I can also click view original email as well. So that's quite nice. Okay, you will notice at the very top of the window, we have what's called an action bar. Okay, or a search bar. There it is there. I call it the action bar because there's a lot of action that can happen in there. Moving on. So this is what we do. First thing is we can use it for searching, searching anything. So if I was looking for anything to do with the declaration document, press enter, anything to do with those words, declaration document will appear on the left hand side from messages, people, files. If I look at files, oh my word, check it out. It's all there. I found it instantly. People, nobody's called there. Well, obviously, uh, and messages and from. I can type. I can filter this further. Like from somebody. What is it? A chat or is it a channel? More filters, date ranges, the team, the channels, mentions. It's insane how far you can go with this. So use that if you are looking for something. Type it in over there. But one of the cool things that we can actually use this for, and that is the forward slash key, forward slash. Forward slash is the slash that leans to the right, okay? And when you press the forward slash key, have a look at all of these options that are now available to you. From setting your status instantly, all right? So D&D, &D, not Dungeons and Dragons, it means do not disturb. Voila, look at that. I've just set my status to do not disturb. Okay, let's make my status available. There it is there, available. Okay, done. Again, forward slash, let's hit forward slash. And you'll see this is like a, where we give commands. And that forward slash is the start of any command. And the moment you hit the forward slash button on your keyboard and you put it in there, you'll see what you can and cannot do. So let's have a look here. Um, here is one where we can say find. So we go forward slash find press enter and here you can see what I, I want to find is it in a particular channel is it uh, what word am I looking for do you see it's pretty awesome take that away let's have a look what else can we do let's see uh, pop oh pop is so cool guys watch this I'm gonna click pop and I'm just gonna pop out a window just like that I just pop out a chat window of anyone I want to chat to right away. So you don't even have to bother going to the person or going to the chat part in your screen or going to chat, okay? You just go forward slash pop and then you type the person's name and you click, ah, oh, check it out. Isn't that cool? That's very, very nice. So the forward slash button gives you access to a lot of things. And if you're stuck and you want to just figure out something like you, you need some help, Type in help. Who, who knew? Type in help. Have a look at what comes up when you type in help. We have got topics, training, what's new, and about is not important. But let's have a look at topics. So if you scroll down a little bit, general teams help, creating teams, 
remote learning. Mm. What's new? Are you a school leader? And then there's, of course, other uh, information as well. Quite a lot of information there. Training. Have a look at what's underneath training. Yes, you can teach yourselves. A lot of the stuff. Not Maybe not all of it, but you know what, what, what I mean. Uh, getting started. Managing team members. Now, if I had known these were all here, I wouldn't have made all these videos for you guys. But uh, look at that. Plenty of information and resources there, guys. So if you are stuck, please, forward slash, take a look at what's there. Lots of access to help.